Hey guys, how are you today? We're going to talk about visual storytelling with moving images. In some ways, visual storytelling with moving images is not that different from visual storytelling with still images. You just have a little bit more going on in your frame because there's movement added. There can be camera movement or they can there can be the movement of characters walking through a frame. One of the best pieces of advice I ever got from a, an experienced videographer was to think of my compositions like in Harry Potter, people would um, move in the, in the pictures like it was a little movie. He, he recommended that I frame up my shot and then just let the action flow through it. Most of the time, it's going to work out better if you do not try and follow the action with your camera. Of course, there's always exceptions. One of the best things that I can recommend is to sit down and think about your project before you shoot anything. You really wanna go into the situation at least having a pretty good idea of what images you need to tell the story. It all starts there. It all starts with you visualizing the project. And I don't mean for five minutes. I mean, show it on a storyboard, write it down on a shot list so that when you're in the heat of the moment filming, you're not going to forget anything. And the bigger and more complex your projects are, the more important that's going to be. The project I've cho chosen to go through with you, I think is a good one for this. It's one of the uh, assignments that I did for video three and it was fairly complex. It had seven locations, I think, a cast of three main characters and then a couple of kind of walk on or, you know, additional characters that only were in one scene. We needed some props. We needed a red car. We needed a certain uh, moment in the in the making of the film where the main character calls his best friend. So those are the kind of things that you you really have to think about, like, how am I going to do that and plan it out? This uh, was a song by a local band who I am friends with. And so they let me use the audio. <laughs> they let me use the recording. And the song tells a story of a guy. He's in love with this woman named Betty. Um, she dumps him suddenly and he doesn't understand why he calls his best friend to commiserate. The best friend turns out to also have been fooling around with Betty and Betty dumped him too. And so it's a pretty simple story <laughs> and it's a cute song, uh, like kind of peppy and, and catchy. So here, here are the scenes as they played out in the lyrics. The lyrics were our guide. So I will send you the link to this so you'll be able to watch it with the sound. But I just kind of want to show you um, the, main, the main areas where we shot. So the first, uh, this, this was shot at, in the MCC studio. So she's kind of vamping for the camera as kind of his his like fantasy of her starts off where um Betty and the boyfriend are kind of hanging out he's playing a video game she's like I'm ready to go out and then he ignores her and you can just see her starting to seethe and, and get mad this was all shot in my boyfriend's apartment my boyfriend at the time and um so you know it's you got to use what you what you have that happens to be my boyfriend at the time <laughs> And then Jill, who played Betty, is uh, was a girl I worked with who um, just enjoyed modeling and being on camera and stuff. Um, and so I knew she would be comfortable with it. Here is another location that we shot at. I just thought it was a cool visual with all those guitars there. This is the band that whose song we use. They're called the Lenoma Mashers. All right, so we're going back and forth between those two locations. These were two totally separate shoots. Obviously, she's dumping him. So what we had to do for the band part of the video is we did the wide shot where they're all playing, and then each one I did a close-up, and it's a lip sync. So um, it was a lot of repetitions of the song um, where my focus of camera on each different band member 
as they went through the song. And then I had to sync it all up. Here's a more drama. More drama as she's kicking him out of the house. And this pretty much uh, ends our scene one, which was in the apartment. <clears throat> oh, Betty. All right, so here's Steve playing guitar. All right, so Betty takes off. We had to borrow this car because we needed a, a red car. Um, here it is. We needed a red car. It's actually a Honda. It was supposed to be a Corolla. He's like, where are you going? Then the next scenes take place in Benson, where he's over, like running around, losing his mind, looking for... Her. Then he ends up in a park in the morning. He slept on a park bench. So, so far we've had the interior apartment, the exterior of the apartment, Benson Streets, a park. And now he, he realizes he has to call his friend. All right. Then here's some more uh, people in Benton. This was the Metro's studio. Those are just dudes on the street. <laughs> so we're cutting quickly because the song tempo is pretty fast. We did some interior shots of the boyfriend by himself. Did a little um, compositing. He's he's feeling like very upset that they broke up. And he's dreaming about her. And she's breaking his heart even there. All right. So let's see. The, the story uh, resolves when he finally, <laughs> he finally finds her leaving his friend's apartment. And he's like, what? Right. And she, and she doesn't see him because she's a narcissist and his friend comes out and here's the kind of the big surprise ending. The bitch dumped me. Oh, Betty. So that's it. That, so it's, it might seem when you go back and watch it, it just goes really fast, but it's a lot of scenes. It's a lot of planning for this shot. We needed a, a ladder. Oops. <laughs> it still makes me laugh. <laughs> I'm up on a ladder on the street. So that's the kind of thing that you're, you're thinking about for a four minute video, four minute and 33 seconds. It probably took us, uh, I don't even know how many hours. If I had to really think about it, I would I would probably have to say some something like like 50 hours uh, between planning, scheduling, actually shooting in the different locations. Uh, had to have people who are willing to come uh, multiple times, like Jill, who played Betty, and Jonathan, who played the bad boyfriend. Um, we ran all over town, um, and then I had to edit the thing. And uh, listen to it hundreds of times, sync up all that audio. I no longer have the premiere file. But I think the hard drive I had that on crashed. But um, it, it was like a lot of little cuts, just really, really fast. So it took a lot of editing. And I was in the editing bay for hours and hours. But you know what? I loved it. The band loved it. We had a lot of fun. And the fact that um, it was all planned out, even though it was stressful and took a long time, um, it, it actually went really smoothly. I don't remember getting back and thinking like, oh, no, I don't, I don't have what I need. <laughs> and these guys are such goofballs. It, it was hilarious. So this got into the Omaha Film Festival. It was pretty fun. Um, and it was just a fun experience. And I want... Uh, the takeaway here to be that, um, you know, planning things makes your life easier and it might not be something you're used to. And you might feel like, Oh, my creative juices are better. You know, when I don't plan, you know, there's always going to be some unplanned things, but, um, you know, if you go into it with something like this, here's like a little storyboard that I just, 
I made it from, I lost the original storyboard. This was like a, a long, long time ago. But um, it just is going to show me like my opening image is going to be Betty in the bathroom getting ready for her date. Then uh, the boyfriend is messing around just playing a video game. Here's the video game. You know, you want to think through all the images the audience needs to see to understand what's going on. If you were shooting a, a project with dialogue, you know, that you'd have that, but there's so much that you can show rather than say, and that, that's one of the beauties of video. You show, you don't tell, you know. Uh, so the best thing that you can do at the beginning of a project is sit down Think about what story you're trying to tell, even if it's really simple, and I either make a shot list. A shot list is just like a, a written out, like shot one is a close up on um, a bug on a on a leaf or something, you know, whatever it might be, and then you plan out step by step, like each location, every single shot you're going to need at that location. And you might have multiple locations. You better make sure you're going to get everything the first <laughs> the first time. Um, so you can watch Oh Betty uh, in in its entirety with the song playing um, to just kind of take a look at how we how we put it together. I'm I'm certain that yours are going to be really great. I can't wait to see them. We'll talk about it more in class.